Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how many hours a day should you code, what frequency, how many hours a week, you know, what are some ways to make sure that you meet that goal so that you can learn to code, but you still don't burn out and still keep it fun. Uh, those are sort of the questions I get asked all the time. I want a number, Dylan. I want a number. I don't want any of this bullshit. Well, you know the world is black and isn't black and white. It's great. I want a number. We're going to give you a number today. I want to take a moment to thank this video sponsor, ProjectAlta.com. They make a focus pill and a mood pill, and I haven't had a chance to try the mood pill, but they did send me the focus pill, which is something that I'm, I'm actually really liking. I've been taking it for about two days now, and I plan to finish the bottle. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've taken a lot of these sort of alert pills, or, you know, they're some of them are very stimulant-based, and some actually do what they're supposed to, which is sort of just wake you up, make you alert, and that's where the this focus pill uh, from Alta comes in. They even sent me some of these cool pins, and uh, in the Mortal Rage Day, we're going to tell you about it, keep it 100, all right? <laughs> some of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but, um, so um, if you're interested in trying out their, their focus pill so that you can make sure you kind of just get that lit, lit, you know, just be a little more pep in your step, uh, wake you up a little bit, keep you alert, make sure that you are focused on the task at hand. Uh, I, I, I would highly recommend it. I'm not jittery by it at all, uh, which has kind of been my criticism of other brands in the past. And if you use coupon code CODENTORIAL360, you can get your first bottle for just $6. All right, so how many hours a day should you code, right? That's the first question that we need to answer. And then we need to answer, how can we make sure that we accomplish that in a effective manner while still being sane? Um, and the, the, my personal opinion is it's about frequency and it's about time. So it's a, it's a healthy combination. Uh, if your goal is to learn to be a developer or learn to learn to code and work yourself into a developer position or you learn to code and build a side project that it's going to be a business, whatever it may be, but the, the objective is to learn to code. That is a daily task. So that's the first thing you have to kind of accept is that you're entering into a domain of something sim almost similar to when you're first learning math where you need to, it's uh, as Alan Iverson would say, we're talking about practice, all right? So um, it's about the practice. It's about the repetition in this case. And so you need to be coding daily. So that's the first thing I wanna, I wanna kind of just really reiterate that this sort of learning to become a developer and when you are a developer lifestyle of, you know, to become a good developer, right? So we don't only, well, most of us, I should hope, so don't only want to, hey, I got the job. <laughs> I'm done with that coding outside of work stuff. Um, you know, <laughs> these suckers don't know what they got, right? So um, uh, you're going to, this is something that's going to sort of continue as you continue to grow as a developer. And all, and all honestly, it's going to make you stand out. Um, I know it has for me. I've, I've had interviews with, I haven't landed a job, but I've had interviews with Facebook. I've had interviews with Amazon and they've reached out to me. Um, and part of that, I think, is just they're able to see the passion and they're able to see that I am continuing to grow and that I'm the type of person that they want to hire, and I want you to be that type of person. And so as you're getting started, the same mentality that you had when you were learning to code, uh, while you're really in the grind, right, not making any money, um, probably have a job that you hate while you're learning to code, you have to have that same mentality post-job, and it will do wonders for you. So keep that in mind. So uh, first, first thing is daily. So how much per day? Well, everyone's schedule is different, and everyone likes to make different excuses. Um, there's a lot of people that say, well, what do I do when I have kids and a family? Well, you got to tell them they have to understand, you know, what do I do when I work full time? Well, I worked, you know, 45 hours a week and a YouTube channel and I, you know, put in four to six hours a day and on the weekends more. Right. Uh, so it, it just depends. So how many hours though? How many hours? So you'll have to, how you juggle your time. That's, that's on you. There's nothing I can, I can do about that. And, um, I hope that you do. I hope that you fall into the category of you understand that life happens and that you are going to do your best to accommodate your learn learning curve regardless of what stage of life you're in, right? 
Um, one of the things that I've I've said that about me is that I'm glad that I didn't necessarily have any debt and I didn't have any uh, any responsibilities outside of learning to code and my relationship because it, it would be harder, right? It's not impossible. It definitely would be harder, you know. Uh, Bo Carnes is a good example of somebody who, you know, he was working as a teacher. Uh, I think he had like two, three kids and a, and a wife and um, he went and he finished his bachelor's in six months and taught him to code and he did all the free code camp certs also. So it's definitely possible. Um, so how many hours a day though? That's, we're kind of getting out, I wouldn't say we're getting off track, but I'm trying to paint the picture, right? Where this is a story of how you can become a developer. Um, so I think on the, um, three to four hours would be what I would say per day. Um, you know, every, everyone's going to have the days where, look, I can only do one hour today. Um, that's okay if it's once a week, I would say. It's about that repetition every single day and about progressing every single day. And do I mean three to four hours of coding? Actual hard, you know, you're typing away, you're clicking and you're clacking. Well, I don't really click and clack, but you guys get the idea. Um, no, that's not what I'm really saying. Uh, although it could be. It definitely could be. I am saying that for three to four hours every single day you are progressing as a developer that could be going to meetups that's something that i've talked about quite frequently you know a two-hour meetup could be two out of your four hours for that day uh why, why go to meetups well yeah, there's networking there's people offering jobs oftentimes there's people who you can maybe find and become mentors a lot of developers uh want to help out right a lot of us remember the grind and sometimes you offer your help and they don't um they don't either value it or they just don't know that you're genuine but a lot of times they are so like i'll give you a good example i extended a hand to uh someone i went to high school with like hey man i see that you're going to a boot camp i'm happy to answer any questions you have hit me up you never did uh <laughs> which which is unfortunate um because i i just want to help and a lot of times there's the same sort of people at those meetups so that three to four hours that could be you doing a demo tutorial that could be you um just watching an hour long speech on uh, CSS variables or, you know, what's coming in HTML6 sort of theory crafting. The, the idea here is for you to stay excited, stay motivated and keep learning uh, as a developer. And that's, that's really something that you have to, to continue in order to learn to code. Cause a lot of you, I'm not, I should say a lot of you, but there is a large, portion of people who want to learn and code in a weekend or want to learn to code in a hundred hours. So a hundred hours, I'm a developer. No ands, ifs, buts about it. We are officially a developer. Hopefully I got a job, but I'll have that job in a hundred hours of dedicated time. It doesn't work like that. Everyone goes at their different pace, right? So like I have people who asked, I said I spent nine months on the free, free code camp front end cert and to a lot of people, that is a ridiculous amount of time, man. Oh my God. Um, but that was what time, that was what it took for me with where I was in my life to continue to grind it out and do everything that I needed, um, outside of work and everything else. But the, the goal for you really should be to put in that three to four hours of learning time and keep it fun, keep it, but every day, every, every day until you have a job, until you reach your goal every single day, because Say you do it for a month, right? And I've talked about this sort of before. A lot of people can work hard, but how hard can you, for how long can you work hard, right? So let's say you're, you're, in, you're like, God, I have a month and then I take a week off. That week that you took off just set you back two to three weeks because it, all this stuff builds on it. What you're, what you're really doing when you're learning to code for the first time is you're reprogramming your brain. Not only are you learning syntax and concepts, but you're also reprogramming your brain to think of how to break problems down into smaller subsets and solve those issues to build out the, in the larger scope of the project, of the application, whatever it is. And so all that forward momentum that you had, you take a week off, you're really back at like you've been doing it for two weeks, even though you invested five weeks of time now. And so that's really why I'm a, a very strong um, proponent of you studying every day. So I'd say try and find three to four hours a day. And I, and this has been backed up time and time again. I, I do my mentoring sessions, um, you know, uh, with with subscribers and and um, 
the the thing I have about 50 50 uh, percent of people one of the ones who are willing to put in the hard work and the and the other ones who want to know why they're not succeeding and and um, why this other person succeeded and they take the breaks and that that's the truth man I just need a break man oh my god I had to I had to just do this and okay uh well I don't I don't know what to say to that because I you know you 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 ask for advice and I give you I give you advice and I understand we all we all are have the tendency to burn out on occasion uh which is why i'm not opposed to people taking one day breaks take one day that's it if you need more than one day you gotta you gotta buck up a little bit because you're you're taking on a hard task is it achievable task it's totally achievable to learn to code uh for most people for most people um but you have to put you have to understand that when you are sort of half-assing this and you're not going at it daily, three to four hours a day. If your goal is really to be a developer, three to four hours a day is what you're going to have to put in and, and in an intelligent way, right? That could be, you know, focusing on, all right, I got to rework my LinkedIn. I got to rework my resume. I got to go to this meetup. I got to code. I got to watch some YouTube tutorials. I got to watch you some Udemy tutorials. I need to build my personal portfolio. There are a hundred different things that you can do when you're learning to code. And if one is sort of getting you down, when I was doing the algorithms and I was ready to you know, on free code camp or wherever, and I was ready to just start jumping out a window because of how freaking stuck I was on these things, I started a project. <laughs> I said, look, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I may not be here tomorrow if I keep going at these algorithms. So instead I'm gonna go and I'm gonna build a, you know, some project go in a different direction, learn a little something in that aspect. Um, the, the goal for you is study every day, three to four hours of progress in various sort of dimensions as long, just keep it fun, keep it informative. Um, and then make sure that you don't get burnt out in the process and don't take a break longer than a day. That's my advice for how, what sort of frequency and uh, how often you should code. Hope you guys found it helpful. We kind of went on a couple different tangents here, but that's kind of how these videos roll a lot of times. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me at Patreon. And of course, thank you to our sponsor, projectalta.com. So if you're interested in the focus pill stuff, go ahead and uh, check it out. I, I Again, I, I've been taking it for about two days. I plan on taking uh, the entire bottle uh, during the work days and on the weekends, just to give me a little extra oomph. All right, so I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, baby, how many hours should you spend learning to code? Less time than you spend with your girlfriend. Hey guys, if you're interested in a nice JavaScript course, I just released my second course. And in here, we're actually going to be breaking down JavaScript as a language, as well as give you some opportunities to solve some algorithms and build some build up your GitHub, as well as introduce you a little bit to Markdown. There's a link in the description to get the course for just $15 if you're interested. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.